Assault Awareness Month and tomorrow is Denim Day. It's a day that started after a case in Italy. A girl was raped by her driving instructor, but the court decided the sex was consensual, arguing the girl's jeans were so tight she had to have helped him remove them. Joining us now is Sherry Swinson, the Vice President of Sojourner Family Peace Center. What does Denim Day show victims and survivors? It really shows as we come together tomorrow wearing denim. It's a show of solidarity and support for survivors of sexual violence. and. Tomorrow is the 25th anniversary of Denim Day, and it's still so relevant today. So I think, you know, it's such an easy thing to do, and who doesn't want to wear jeans to work? So please, everyone, do that. Can you talk to us about victim blaming? How, how harmful is that? It's very harmful. We should, you know, the premise that we have at Sojourner and other victims' rights organizations is to believe the victim, believe what they're telling you. And 25 years ago, when the judge overturned the conviction in that rape case, he basically told the victim, I don't believe you. I don't believe you, and it's traumatic enough. So then to not have people understanding or believing what you've told them is even more harmful. And tell us about what's happening tomorrow on Denim Day. Yeah, so Denim Day tomorrow, um, I think we'll see a lot of promotion of this on social media. At Sojourner, I know we put um, information out on our social media, really encouraging people to do the simple act of wearing denim as a show of solidarity and support of survivors of sexual violence. And I know that there's an event tomorrow night, like we were talking about, um, at Aurora for their um, sexual assault program. So you'll see a lot of people just wearing jeans and we just ask, share that information. It's just another way to raise awareness. And in Milwaukee, we are continuing to see record, record, level, um, record levels of violence against women. So it's just a reminder that um, it's still relevant, it's still important. So you know, be aware and help people around you. You don't know what they're going through. So, so true. And speaking of the, the, the record violence that we've mm -hmm. been experiencing, share some of the resources that are available for women and men. Yeah, women and men, um, in terms of domestic violence, of which sexual violence is often a part, mm -hmm. call Sojourner if we, um, we have resources at Sojourner Family Peace Center. But we're not the only resource in town. There are others that can be of assistance to you. Aurora, Advocate Aurora has a sexual assault um, support center. We have um, throughout the city, even the DA's office, we had an event yesterday at Sojourner in honor of um, Victims' Rights Week. This is um, National Victims' Rights Week. And there's things that advocates there can even do to help you and point you in the direction and connect you with resources that you need. What do you think something about Denim Day or sexual assault mm -hmm. or sexual violence, something that you learned that you didn't think a lot of people knew or know about? I don't think that I realized um, how prevalent is it is. It's not something that people open a conversation with. There's a stigma involved. There is victim blaming where mm -hmm. someone might wonder if there's something that they had done that would have caused what happened to them, and that's not the case. It's not. So really believe people. I think I've learned one of the simplest things that we can do, and not to say that it is simple, but clear, is to believe what they are telling you and be a resource for them. Thank you for joining us. Thank, Thank you, you for all the information that you've shared. You. And we do have also a link to resources on yes. our website. And we also have the Sojourner Family Peace Center is always here to help. You can take a look at your screen right now. This is the national hotline if you're experiencing or you know someone experiencing sexual assault.